Hey guys, Seth Fighter here. I'm going to give you the rundown on all the tackle I use to fish a little tiny marabou hair jigs, super finesse technique for small mouse. All, all the elements of my tackle is super, super critical to getting the most uh, performance out of your fishing. So first off, this is a definite 100% spinning rod technique, no bait casters involved. So the first key element to this is my spinning reel. I prefer a 3000 size, um, 4000 size is great too. Don't get away from those 2,000, 1,500, 2,500 size spools. Um, the large diameter of the spool is super key to getting a long cast. Just lets the line come off in a, in a bigger shape, not so tight. It's going to give you further casting distance. And it manages your line a lot better too. It'll less line twists, less issues with casting, getting wind knots, stuff like that. And uh, it has a larger surface area, so it will have a smoother drag. I know a lot of guys like the, the smaller sizes, they're a little bit lighter, but this is, this is one area where you do not want to use those smaller spinning reels, the bigger the better. Um, still super lightweight setup. Personally, I use a Daiwa Steez 3012. It's hands down the best spinning reel made. But uh, you don't need anything quite this expensive. Uh, Daiwa makes great stuff. Same, you can get the same size spools through all their lines, great drags and all their price points. Um, going all the way down to a $80 reel. But uh, that's the first key important part. The second part is the line. I use Suffix 832 braid. It's, I think it's the best casting braid on the market. I use a high vis color. This is lime green. I can see it really good. I can see my line jump when I get those super light little bites. Maybe I have a little bow in my line or something really helps me pick up on that. And uh, just anytime you're like tying knots, this, this line's only two pound test diameter. so tying knots, untangling rods, stuff like that just makes life way easier than trying to fish with a moss grain braid and uh, we're tying a fluorocarbon leader to it so no worries about the fish seeing the line at all. Uh, that's the next thing, running six and eight pound suffix fluorocarbon, seven pound too, uh, for my leaders. Uh, definitely need fluorocarbon, this is a super clear water technique. We, uh, we want to be as stealthy as possible, gonna get a lot more bites. The key to using this six pound braid is the thin diameter. It's, it's amazing how much further this little tiny jig will cast with. This is two pound diameter braid versus something that's maybe four pound diameter. I know I use a lot of 10 pound braid for um, drop shotting and shaky heads and stuff like that. But switching down to this lighter braid, uh, casting distance is tremendous, tremendously improved. Um, like I said, this jig is w almost weightless and you got a lot of hair on there, it kind of slows you down. And the rod I do my hair jig fishing with is a brand new rod coming from Daiwa. It's in the Chrono series. It's a custom made seven foot six inch spinning rod. All the rods in the Chronos lineup, there's 10 of them, are all designed by pro fishermen for specific techniques. And this is the one they let me do. A medium, medium light action, kind of that perfect in between that we need to really get the most out of this hair jig deal. It's got a super fast tip, which allows me to cast that little tiny hair jig. You get to you can whip the rod and get a lot better casting distance. And that, that's something I never saw in a seven foot plus rod. A lot of them got really moderate, but this rod still carries a super fast tip. This is a really awesome rod for long distance casting. Anytime you gotta cast really light baits a long distance, this is the best rod for it. This is a performance packed rod for a reasonable price point, coming in under $175 for all these features that you're getting out of our same high end lines. Super awesome rod, check it out.